So new MMOs can be very overwhelming when you first start due to the vast amount of content they have. But in this video, I'm going to quickly and concisely go over everything that you need to know to get to end game without making any mistakes. So you can start to progress your gear and enjoy this amazing game. And just before we get into the video, I just want to say that I do stream right here on the YouTube channel as well as on Twitch. So if you have any other questions, feel free to stop by and all the links for that will be in the description below. So once you've logged in, you've got your server select. One thing I want to show you with the settings down here is the force 21 9 aspect ratio have a look at this guy's elbow you can just about see to the end of that if you turn it on you actually get a lot more vision that side it also is the same for the right hand side as well it will squash down the top and bottom but you do not lose any vision but it will give you more vision both sides and it's really good for pvp because it will actually allow you to see further and give you an advantage over anyone else who's not using it after that, you'll be creating your first character, choosing a class and then going into the character creation, editing the way that your face and hair looks and then into a skippable prologue slash tutorial area until you end up at Trishan, which is like this space area with this beautiful angel lady. And here you'll be able to choose from the different subclasses available to your class and be able to experiment with each of them until you choose the one you want. Later on, this doubles up as a training area and also allows you to measure DPS. So it's really good for just experimenting around with your class to find a build that you like. And after you've chosen your subclass, then you start your main journey. This will then level you up to level 10. And if you want to min-max your time and get to end game as quickly as possible, to be able to start your dailies, which are really important, and I'll cover that a little bit later in the video, then what you want to do is just follow the main quest, which is indicated by the orange marker. If you don't care about min-maxing, then you can always just pick up all the yellow quests as well to do all your side quests to get all the rewards from them. However, you can just come back and do them later. So it's up to you with what's important there, but if you do want to progress as quickly as possible, then I recommend skipping them for now at least, as there are some rewards that you might want. However, the faster you can get to your dailies, the faster you can start progressing your gear and get to that in-game content. When you start leveling, you'll be in this first zone, Artemis, and then you'll progress on through the continent, doing every single area through here, doing the main storyline until you get to the harbor in this zone here, You'll then go up to this island, followed up to this continent, still doing the main story until you reach this continent here called Arpatine. Once you're in there, you want to do every single quest, including all the side quests. Otherwise, by the time you get to Burn Castle, which is where you need to be to start your dailies, then you won't be level 50 and you won't be able to do it and you'll just have to backtrack anyway. Using this method, the world record to get to level 50 is just under about 10 hours. However, for most people speedrunning it through, it's probably going to be somewhere between 15 to 20 hours, depending on how quickly you can just push through. Another thing of note is when you reach this harbor here, the main quest does actually change from orange to blue. So then you'll be following a blue story quest, as well as unlocking your first boat, which is what will allow you to travel between the continents. As you are leveling though, you'll also gain skill points and these can be put into any skills that you like. If you just press K and bring up the menu down in the bottom left, you'll be able to click a reset button to be able to reset your skills completely for no cost. So feel free to experiment with what you like. However, I like to put points into high mobility skills like this one to be able to travel as fast as possible throughout the zones to speed up the leveling process. And then I recommend finding a good damaging AOE skill and putting the rest of my points into those ones to be able to clear the mobs really efficiently. I won't go into the tripod system on this video. I'll save that for another one to keep this nice and short and sweet as a nice beginner's guide. And also I'm not going into too many of the skill names or even the city names because remember that they could be changing from this in the EU and NA release. So just keep that in mind. Some other things worth knowing are these items you'll pick up as you level up which have the little like yellow card symbol in the bottom right. And if you go down to your adventure book and bring that one up, you can see that if you actually use one of these items, that the adventure percentage in the left goes up. This can land you some nice rewards, but again, if you're trying to speed run, it's not worth doing this now. It's worth coming back to the zones later on once you can start your dailies. That way, if you're a completionist, you can get them done, but also start your progression as quickly as possible. I know not everyone's going to be interested in speed running it through. So if you want to complete this as you go, then you can just do that. Another thing to mention on your travels as well is you can find Makoko seeds. Now, these are little plants that are scattered all throughout the game. And once you've collected a certain amount of them, you're able to collect rewards, such as the ability to actually transform into a Makoko seed and move around. It's quite cute. It's quite funny. 
But once you've collected one, it actually unlocks that specific one for that server account wide. And to be able to collect the rewards, you need to go to this island, to Makoko village, and then the NPC up here. And you'll meet him in your main story anyway. I've also got loads of useful links, like the location of all the Makoko seeds in our community discord. And link for that again will be in the description, as well as information for an EU guild that I'll be creating as I'm in the UK. But let's carry on. So next up, you've got your equipment here. And if you see the blue arrow in the bottom right as you're leveling up that means the equipment is better so go ahead and equip that and also the old equipment that you're no longer using you can press the dismantle button here click it across by right clicking and then just dismantle that down you'll get a few little pieces of like dust etc which you just sell to the vendor for a little bit of silver Next up, F2 by default will bring up your songbook. This is basically a teleport list to be able to teleport to places like Trishan to experiment with builds. And you'll learn more songs as you go through the main story. Next up is the teleport stones here. Make sure to unlock these as you go around. You can click on them to fast travel at the cost of silver as long as you're on that continent. So make sure not to miss them. Also, depending on what patch we get in EU or NA, there is a pet quest, a purple quest that you can get from the beginner city after you've done a bunch of quests and then you come back to it really early on. You definitely want to pick up this quest and complete it, get your pet and then equip it. It's basically just a little pet tutorial, but the pet will auto loot for you and it saves you a hell of a lot of time and effort. So I highly recommend doing that. At about level 13 during the main story quest, you'll also gain access to your first mount, a horse here that you get to pick one of three colors. The mounts are really useful for just getting through the maps a little bit quicker, but there's no mounted combat. Next up from that, you've got your dungeons. So there's quite a lot of these throughout the campaign and they're really good fun and really well done. However, there's an easy mode and a hard mode they are soloable or you could do it with a group if you want to just speed for it just do it on normal and then do it solo you don't need to do it on hard mode and you can always come back and experience them later on if you really want to Another good thing to note, for example, here is I can skip these enemies and just destroy that barrel to go through. You don't always need to kill all the enemies in certain areas to be able to progress if you want to do it faster. There's also player housing in the game, which is basically your own instance personal island, which you get to decorate how you like. But there's also some nice functionality here, like the ability to be able to level up alt characters AFK. But again, I won't go into too much detail in this video. And one of my favorite parts about Lost Ark is the PvP. The arena that's here is equalized, so it doesn't matter about gear. Everybody has the same amount of skill points and you simply choose which ones you want and choose what skills you want. Everything is unlocked and everyone's on equal footing. So it just comes down to player skill. And there's a variety of game modes, including a 3v3 ranked one. So if you want to be able to climb up ranked, then there is that. Also, this game in Korea and in Russia have professional esports. So there is a tournament side to this as well. However, again, I won't go into too much detail this now in this beginner's guide. Just know that I've been streaming loads of this and plan on making loads of PvP guides as well as PvE guides. So stay close to the channel if you want to learn a lot more. It's also a good time to say that if you like the video, give it a like and consider subscribing. It would be hugely appreciated and I'd love to be able to showcase some more content to you guys. Next up, you've got your awakening skill. This is basically your player's ultimate and this one you'll unlock once you reach level 50. Then you want to hit F2 and teleport to Trishan. Go and speak to the angel lady and complete the purple awakening quest there. She'll then give you a reward in the mail. So you have to go up to the top left, click on that, accept the gem use the gem in your inventory and then it will unlock your awakening next up we have life skills now life skills are obtained here in this area from this village once you get here just do this instance bit to unlock the village and then you have to do a few main story quests here and then eventually the main story quest will have you talk to this dwarven guy here and then he will unlock the life skills which will allow you to do things like mining fishing lumbering etc again i'll make another video on this i'm not going to go into all the details now but you can go to the NPC right next to him and buy some beginning tools. It's a good way to make some money. You can sell some stuff on the auction house, but again, I'll explain that in another video. There's also a cash shop in the game that will allow you to purchase a large range of things. However, I won't go into the details of this because we're not sure on the cash shop that we're going to get when the game comes out in EU and NA. Lastly, you've got your dailies. So again, going to Burn Castle here, you've got your chaos dungeons, which you want to be doing every single day. And ideally as well to min max, you want to have a couple of alts that you can do this on as well to be able to maximize your gear progression. And then also right here next to it, you've got your guardian raids. This is like Monster Hunter Online. It's really good and gets you more resources and accessories. You also have a relaxation bonus with this, so you don't need to do this every single day. 
as they will stack up so you can get double the rewards. You've also got other dailies if you press Alt J or go to the menu here you can accept daily quests here and you can swap and change these without any penalty you can just abandon them and then weekly quests on this tab as well so just pick the ones that are going to give you the resources for what you need. Then you have the card system you'll find these as you progress you can right click and use them and then in your card menu you can add different cards to your deck to get different buffs. Alright if you like the video guys give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and most importantly turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. Remember I do stream right here on the YouTube channel as well as on Twitch you can catch me on your favourite platform very convenient and link for the Discord server will be down in the description as well so it'd be great to have you guys in there loads of information in there as well as an amazing community full of loads of like minded gamers and a last shout out to all the people doing the paid membership on my YouTube channel I love you guys to pieces and I really fully appreciate you all. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the stream so hopefully I'll see you again then and until the next one guys I hope you learned something and I also hope you have a very nice day. See you now. <laughs> okay that felt amazing. That felt really really good.